welcome back all of you and here and we are in the next day's program on this diffusion order management implementation so on the other day we are unable to do two of the activities one is what uh, the shipping charges as well as the price list no, the, the different currency actually okay? now i'm going to do it on uh, vision actually so let me go there and then do it let me do it so here what i do is i will now go to the home icon and then let us now set up the shipping charges on vision actually Go to the order management and then I go to the pricing and administration. So pricing and administration, I'm going to begin. Okay, I will now go on and set up the shipping charges. So go to the places. Now I'm now working on vision actually. So vision, it will work. And then another thing is working, is not working properly. So there is some problem there. So that's why it's not working. So we'll now go there. We will now set up the shipping charges. Okay? Manage shipping charges. I'm going to I'm click on the manage shipping charges. And then let me create the shipping charge. So we are now going to create a shipping charge now. So I go to the manage shipping charges and then click on plus. No, right? I'm going to get the shipping charge. So click on plus. I will now say T02. I will now say uh, freight. No, right? Freight charges. So before we book the order, uh, we are going to charge the customer with these freight charges basically. You know, like and then the currency is US dollars. And then go there. Business unit is what? US one business unit. I will not put the US one business unit. Fine. Go there. Put the start date as today's date. You know, like enter in. <clears throat> So click on okay. And then what happens is save and edit. So we are going to save and edit. Perfect. So we're going to save and edit now. <clears throat> so we are editing it actually. Fine. Go to the access set and then I give the access. No, fine. Go there. Click on plus. Fine. Go there. It is a common set. Common set is the one. Fine. Go there. So it's a common set. <clears throat> and then search for it. So the common set fine. So click on okay. No, fine. Not coming. So let me save and then approve it. No, fine. Click on save first of all. So the freight charges are now getting saved. Fine. Click on approve. So once it is approved, let us now define the freight charges once. <coughs> fine. Go there. And then uh, go to this place. Fine. Go there. So here, what happens? They go to the shipping charges. <coughs> and then here, uh, we have to make an item level actually. Flat rates is a very complex one actually. If you want to have a flat rate, I have a document. I will now upload the document also into the order management directory. Flat rate is a really very complex actually. So we have to go with the item level. Uh, so yesterday, I think I was uh, trying on the flat rate actually. Flat rate is not correct, but the item level, what happens? It will work properly. Flat rate is a very complex uh, process actually. Okay. So go to the place. Fine, go there. So I am now going to the item. No, fine, go there. Click on actions and then go to what? Create. No, fine, click on create. Create item charge. So item level charges are easy, but flat rate, I think uh, on the other day also, I was doing only uh, uh, flat rate. So then I referred uh, what I was support and then uh, support was saying is really very difficult actually. It's not an easy one now. Fine, go there. So if you, but all, if uh, the customer wants a flat rate, then you have to follow the document and then do it. I will now upload the document into the uh, directory now. So I will now say DHL, fine, go there, no matter. I will now say it's a freight. I will, I will now make it as a buy now. Right? Click on buy. And then click on item. Fine, I'm going to put the item. <clears throat> so go there. It's a T, uh, it's, a, it's a 1T101. Right? I know working on 1T1 actually now. 1T1. And then okay. Enable the primary uh, pricing now. Fine. Primary pricing unit submit is enable it. And give a start date and give a date date. And then okay. calculation method is what price. <clears throat> and then go there. So here, what about the base price? Fine. I will now say 2.35 is the shipping charge for this item. Allow manual adjustments. So we are now completed. What happens? They're creating a shipping charge for this item for DHL year, yeah, next day year, yeah, freight, and then buy. Fine. What else? <clears throat> Any doubts? Share Click on okay. 2.35 is the one. Fine. Click on okay. So we are directly now. Right? So we are complete rate. <clears throat> so go there. So click on seven close by which what happens? Uh, the T02 freight charges is now completed. So as and when you do it, what happens? You insert it into your uh, what happens? You go there, go to the pricing strategy. So go to the manage pricing strategy and then insert it. You go to the manage pricing strategy and then here I will now query for the corporate. Corporate segmental price list is the one. So corporate, uh, what happens? This is the one now. Fine. Corporate pricing strategy group one is the one which is being used by the vision now. Fine. Corporate pricing strategy group one is the one which is used by vision. Fine. Click on it. I will now insert our freight charges over here. Fine. Click on it. I will now go to the place. I will now go to the shipping rules. You go to the shipping rules tab region and then there I will now insert it now. <clears throat> so go to the place. Fine. So there is already one now. Fine. Let me delete that. Let me delete it. Fine. Delete it because we are not testing on ours now. Fine. Click on it. Delete. <laughs> And delete it and then go there. Go to actions and then go to what self nat. Let me add mine. <clears throat> so the system is having a ready made one. So I have deleted it and then I'm adding mine now. And click on it and then select and then click on OK. So our activity is now fully complete. So click on seven close. Now you're going to test it. Okay? I have to give a start date. So click on it. Okay. And then go up and then click on seven close and then we are now going to test it. So let us not test it. I will not go to the place. Fine. I will not create an order now. <clears throat> I will not create an order. 
So 2.35 is the freight charges. It is manually adjustable actually. So click on it. I'll go to the place. Uh, go down now. Use one business unit. So customer is what? Computer service and adults. <laughs> Computer service and adults is the one. So the one now. So go there. So it is a 1T101 is the one. That is the item. I will go one quantity. It doesn't matter if I go as well as go that one. I will click on add item. I have given a $1 price. Each price is $1. Fine. All items price is $1. That is why $1 is coming. I will not go to the place. Fine. Click on it. I will not go to the place. I will not go to the supply. Fine. Click on the supply. And then let me add the supply. Now. Fine. Supply is what? 001. The barrels. <clears throat> no idea. I go there. And then I go to the general area. And then at this stage, if you give a same, the freight will not be coming at all. The freight will not be coming. So the moment I put my DHL, then the freight of 2.35 will be coming. So you can now see the total price is only one dollar number. One with the taxes now. If you click on one, 1.09 is with the taxes actually. Fine. The total tax, fine. The total tax is 0 0.09. The shipping charge is at to come. Fine. In this place, you are not getting the shipping charge. Fine. Click on that. Fine. We will now add our, you go to this place and then go to the general and then I will now put my, this thing. Fine. So shipping method is what? DHL. Fine. So the moment I put it, the shipping will be having a charge. Fine. Choose it. So there is no choose on no Fine. Go to the moment. 2.35 will be the price now for the shipping method. So go there, click on it. I will not give a save now. Fine. Upon saving, you can see the total price coming up over there. So 1.09 will be added with the 2.35. Can you see it's added? Fine. Click on it. You will not see the shipping charge of 2.65 has added. 2.35 has been added. Click on it. And then it is a manually editable one. And if you go to the lines region, fine. Go to the main one. Fine. Go to that one. And then and on a, it is a it is a generic one for this item. And then you can even have a special price also. Fine. So click on edit mode. So it is not 2.35. And then uh, for this customer, I want to give a discount. Now fine. Click on it. I'll edit it. I'll now make it as what 2.15. I'll now go there. So uh, I can even apply a discount actually. Fine. Discount of what? Let us say 0 0.2. Fine. I can apply a discount on this. So fine. List price. And what is fine. the reason is what? Price match with others. So fine. Some other company is uh, giving only this much. Now fine. So 2.35.2 is only 2.15. Now fine. Okay. We can even get a discount. So go there. So it is now 2.354 for that. <clears throat> if you go to the place now. Fine. So the fight is what? And give a tap. Fine. Click on save now. 0.2 year given, not fine. Click on 0.2 year given. <clears throat> so 2.35 has to become what? Uh, and if you edit the freight charges, fine, go there. I will not click on this. No, fine. What happened? I gave something, no, fine. It is not coming at all properly. So 2.35. So where is the? Oh God, is the taxation the discount has gone? Na? The discount has gone on the taxation, isn't it? Uh, 0.2 or something like that. No, fine. Uh, the discount has not gone on the shipping actually. <laughs> sale price or the discount has now gone on uh, what so click on edit now fine click on the freight edit 2.34 something is coming up fine uh it is a 2.35 so the adjustment is this much only fine so it is a percentage discount that is the reason i will not make it as what discount amount actually so since the percentage discount is coming fine, so i am not putting it as the amount now fine, so it is a 2.15 click on 7 close that is why it is a percentage discount so it is now coming as 2.15 so this way we can do it. Now, fine. We can very well override uh, the shipping charges prices on the exact sales order based upon this. Thing. I will not give a cancel. I'm not doing it. I'm not saving it actually. Next is what? I will not go for what? Currency conversion. So let us say that we are going to sell GBP also. I will not go to the placement. I will not go to the GBP also. And go there. So I will not go to the managed currency conversion. Fine. Click on the managed currency conversion. On the pricing strategies, I'm going to go to the managed currency conversion. There, what happens? I'm going to create it. Fine. Click on plus no fine. Let me create a new one. So click on plus no. I'm not going to get a currency conversion. Fine. Go there. I will not say T02. <coughs> fine. GBP pricing. <coughs> uh, GBP pricing. So on Great Britain pounds, I'm going to price it. So normally, what happens if uh, in one dollar, uh, rather uh, one pound will be approximately 1.5. For our convenience sake, what I'm going to do is I will now make it as what? As a two now. Fine. Business unit is what? US one. So the conversion rate, I'm going to make it as two now. I'm going to drop it down. So the so currency conversion is there. Fine. Uh, it is no upload. Fine. In progress, actually. <clears throat> I will now go to the actions and then what happens to create now. Fine. We are going to create it. So attribute start date is required. For so we'll now give a start date. Also. So click on OK. Fine. And then go to the actions so and then go to start, create. No, fine. I'm going to create it. So go there. I will not choose other currency. Right? So the base currency is US dollar. So then uh, you are going to have what? GBP pricing. GBP. So uh, I will not convert, make a conversion as $2. No, fine. The conversion rate is what? 0.5. So 0.5 means what? 
one usd is equal to 0.5 gbp that is what is fine always the base currency is equal to conversion rate into the destination currency it is equal one us dollar is equal to 0.5 gbp so on gbp what happens it is approximately if the item is 1 dollar in price in the standard one it will be 0.5 only so gl conversion rate is what corporate the corporate and there is no adjustment type at all and no adjustment type is coming it's a simple command and then what happens the conversion rate is 0.5 it's a fixed conversion otherwise we can even have a gl source if it is a gl source from the gl it will be coming automatically now i am making a fixed conversion so normally it will be only gl source it will be gl source so i know for our demonstration i will be going so what happens uh, gpp is always uh, what happens uh, costlier than us dollars by two times at even dollars so go click on okay now so this is not done now right click on okay the start date is a mandatory thing so we'll go start date so click on okay by which what happens is now completed now <clears throat> so the conversion rate has been given now right like that so this is what is fine and then go to the access set and then before what i was approving it you go to the access set and go to the access set and then give a fine whenever you have an access set we had to give an access set click on plus no fine it has located the access set <clears throat> so click on fine this is a common set <clears throat> comma common and then give it a tab no fine sometimes what happens everything is capitals so otherwise what happens is com and then give it a tab no fine i'm coming or not you see if it is not coming it drop down and choose it fine it's not coming fine drop it down and choose it and then go there click on search and then search it <clears throat> so click on search go there click on fine click on okay so the access set has been given now fine what is what is go there click on save now fine save so by which it is not done now is now last saved actually fine is there any approvals available now fine with the conversion rates if you go there uh when approval is required not there at all no fine go there oh yeah approval approval button is here actually so the approval button is here fine go there and get the get the approval fine click on the approve so we are now approving it so after approving it body held so enna pannu pressing start the baby insert pannu is very correct now fine yam varga sharmili edarthalum pressing start la konde insert pannu amma insert pannu sir yam varkala fine go there go the point 5 fine click on seven close so that we will not insert it into a pricing strategy no what are you do what happens here insert it fine go there i will not open up my pricing strategy and then let us not query make a pricing strategy fine corporate fine go there is already there so corporate pricing strategy segment one of the one which is being used by insert from fine go there i'll go there i will not go to the currency conversion list i'll go that one letter so vision is using so many let me delete all no fine delete all so that what happens only my list will be coming into picture no fine select it and then delete we can do it only one by one actually <coughs> i am unable to select multiple actually in one go select and then click on delete <coughs> we are deleting it now and click on next so cma is a chinese currency fine <coughs> here gbp so they have one gbp i will not delete it <coughs> and then go there select it and then click on delete open and deleting it so we are deleting it fine click on next now fine so by which it is not done i will not give a save no fine click on save let me insert or so fine i will go there so in the currency conversion list fine go to the actions and go to what select and add so let me add my t02 so remember we are now uh, pricing the uh, sales order on a foreign currency actually fine if our functional currency is usd you are now going to price it on a foreign currency so, so click on save and close by which it is not completed <clears throat> so go there so give a start date fine click on okay now fine <clears throat> go to the save and close by which what happens is not completed now we go there i will now create a new sales order fine click on create order <clears throat> go there one so as soon as you create a dollar you can now see the usd is coming so let me first of all choose the bu fine first choose the bu So here's one business unit. So customer is computer, <coughs> computer service unit is the one. And now choosing it, no fine, no fine, no fine. And then afterwards, immediately change the currency fine, to GBP. <coughs> fine. So GBP is a foreign currency. So, so our item price is one dollar. So on GBP, what will be the price? Tell me. Zero point five. So it is fifty percent actually. Fine. It is fifty percent. So go to the actions, and then here, what happens? You go to what happens? Uh, go to edit currency details. Fine. Click on. On the other hand, it was not coming because ours is not configured fully actually. So now here it is fully configured. So it has to be configured in GL actually. Fine. Go to the pound sterling, and then I will now use what corporate <coughs> type is normally corporate. So corporate rate. So go there, come on. And then uh, when you look at what about the rate is not only coming, fine, take on. Okay. <coughs> we can even use the fixed also because we are not doing only the fixed price. Okay, fine. So what about the give? What about the one? So go there. Now you can see the uh, currency on the left hand side is pound sterling. If I put my item over here, it will be point five. Okay, one two one zero five zero one two one zero one. Then give it up. And then, if you give one quantity, the price will be point five. <laughs> so you can see the price is point five. So this is on currency conversions now. Right? So we are now seeing what the uh, the what's called your uh, shipping charges as well as the currency conversion right? by which we almost completed everything. So give a cancel. So the next one is what we go there. 
So I, I'm not doing anything. I'm not saving it actually. So the next one, I will not go there. Click on it. We'll not have one. <clears throat> we'll go to the next topic. So go to the place and click on it. I will not go to the Oracle SCM training and go there. I will not open up the Fusion order management documentation, Fusion order management. And then here, what happens? We'll not go there. I will not open up the worksheet. <laughs> So go to this place and click on log Now I'm not going to begin with my substitute item. My sub two, two zero uh, two is one zero one one t one only. So I, what I did is I did it in my other system. <laughs> so let me make a change. Now fine. I will not go to control H and then I will not say two t one. Fine. Two t one has to be replaced as one t one. So one t one. Fine. Replace all. So everything is done. Thank you so much. Anyway. So that, what I was thinking, even pick up the item and then directly do it. I have now created everything on 1T1 only when I was doing it in the house, actually. So 1T1. Substitute, I'm going to make a test now. Thank you for Let us now go there and then test the substitute now. <laughs> so before which, what happens, we'll now go there and then have a look at the finding. Thank you for it. We'll now see the item now. Right? So the item is now defined as a substitute. Fine. Go to the product information management. And then let me query the item. Go to the product information management. Let me go to the browse items. Fine. Click on the browse items. So I'm now going to the browse items. Fine. Click on the browse items. And then here, what happens, I'm going to query it. <laughs> So I will not take a copy of this note. So I will not take a copy of this. <clears throat> so take copy. It. Do not go there. And then let me query the item. Make a search for it. So once when you search for it, you will not say this is a coming thing. So click on it. So the substitute relations are defined only in the master and not in the child. Remember, like in Ebus. Ebus also, we define the substitutes only in the master and not the child. Right? So we are not defined the substitute only in the master. Right? So Select it and then go there. And then we will not have a look at it. Go to the place, fine, go there. I will now go to what relationship no, fine, click on the relationship. And then I have defined the relationship for this item. So I'm substituted up fine, for the substitute up. What happens there? One T one standard order is a substitute. The reciprocal is also a name. Fine. A Sharmali, you have to do a substitute. You have to do a substitute. No, no, no. Okay, okay. So you have to do a substitute. So it's what? Fine. So reciprocal is there. So for this item, there is a substitute actually. Fine. So if he is ordering on this item, Fine. We can very well uh, dispatch this item actually. So let us now go on and create an item. Fine. Go, go to the sales order. Fine. Click on create order. So let me create an order for the substitute here. So go there. Drop it on. I will now choose the BP, B, BU now. Fine. Go there. So I will now say US1 business unit. <clears throat> I will now put my customer over here. Fine. Com, computer rentals, computer service rentals. Fine. Go, to <laughs> go to the place. And then I will now, what happens? I will now put this item over here. Fine. The item is what? 1T106. Now find the one. I am now ordering it. So the customer is ordering it, but we can ship only the standard order also. One T one zero one also can be very well shipped. I'll not go for two hundred days now. And then click on add now. The price is coming as what one dollar, two dollars. I go to the place, and then I go to the supply, and then provide the supply. Now I click on supply, and then let me provide the supply. With the zero zero one is the one. <clears throat> the one. So the supply has been provided. I go to click on submit. By which order? This order is now getting submitted. I will now go to the notepad now. <clears throat> I'm going at higher speed. You are able to understand now. Firmly, are you able to understand it? Yes, sir. Okay, fine. 97422. If you have any doubt, please stop me and ask me. No, I, I'm going at a hurricane speed, actually. So go, so go to actions, and then I will now switch over. So go to actions, and then switch to fulfillment view. We are now switching to fulfillment view. You know, you know, coming, I, that. You want I will now click on the hyperlink on the do number now. Fine. Now, the do is what? Uh, custom do GSE 360 order flow generic process. That is the one which is being used now. Fine. Order flow generic process is the do which is getting fired actually. And click on refresh and then that will be getting interface to what shipping execution. So go there. Reservation is completed. No, fine. No, 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 completed. And then we'll go to waiting shipping. We'll now go there. Click on it. We'll now go to the inventory overview. Fine. Click on it. We'll now go to the inventory overview. Fine. Click on the star icon and then there I go to the inventory overview. And then here what I do is <clears throat> inventory overview. I'm going over there. I click on it. I'll go to the inventory overview. Fine. Click on it. I will now go to the shipping now. I click on shipping. You go to the shipments, then you go to the shipment lines now. <clears throat> go to the managed shipment lines, fine, go that what? I will now go to the managed shipment lines, and then there, I will now query this item. Query this order number. Fine. The order number is what? Uh, it is 97422. Fine, click on it. I will now put what? 97422. And then make it as a before now. Fine. Make it as before, and then make a search. Now. Click on search. Now, normally what happens, the item is not editable. Now, it will be editable actually. Oh God, I made a mistake. I made one more mistake. No, I made a mistake. Now, it's not editable. So, we had to allow the substitute item. Then only I think it will be eligible. No, I made a mistake on the, on the order actually. 
So we had to enable the substitution allowed actually. I forgot to read. Let us see whether item is editable or not on this. 97422. <clears throat> so we are now searching for it. It has already been interfaced to shipping execution actually. So let us now query it. I hope that I think it may not work at all. <clears throat> So click on save and close and then come to the main line of it. The item is not editable actually. So item must be editable actually. <coughs> so go there, click on it. So click on save and close and then have a look at it. Right? Whether item is editable or not. So we'll know what happens. Uh, perform a revision for this. No point. We'll not create a revision for this. Uh, then uh, uh, enable the item substitute enabled actually. And click on save and close. Here what happens, you can now see that item is what happens if you click on this item there is a what's called this thing is coming fine hyperlink is coming fine if you click on the hyperlink we'll know see whether we can edit the item or not and because we have an a substitution of it so item is not editable actually so we can only go through via this actually <clears throat> fine, give a cancel now we'll know see whether any other facility for editing the item fine, so this is the one now no coming so only the going and uh, go to actions and then what happens, you'll now see whether any editing of the item is available or not. Now, by the way, I'm not going to get it off. So let us now modify, let us now create a version of this. We'll now create a revision for this and then we'll now enable the, what was the substitution. I will now come to the main area. I click on that. So I will now come to the main one of the sales order. So in this place, it's now available now. So go to actions and then here, what happens, I will now create a revision. Fine, I'm going to create a revision. So click on create revision. So once when you create a revision, then what happens? We can very well do it now. Right? The revision is now getting created. So it is a coffee break now. I will now go for a coffee break. So okay, now I am now creating a revision actually. In the revision, what I do is I go to the next area. Find here. I will now allow the substitute items. So go there. So here, what happens? We'll be having one substitution enabled now. Go there. So go to the shipping area and then have a look at it. So click on the shipping. Go there. Allow partial shipment is there. Go there. So substitution enabled is not there at all. Where is that here? Enga paare thene. Supply le paper mo. Supply le ka substitution. Allow sub item substitution is what I will not make it as yes. So we are changing the allow substitution to yes now. Point on the supply area and then let us now submit it. This is the revision is now created. Allow item substitution is no yes. Point click on submit now. So the new revision is now getting submitted. So the workflow will be rewound and then it will be again be interfaced into shipping execution. So click on submit. So item substitution is allowed on the supply area actually. The supply area we are allowing it down. So we are now submitting it. So the new revision is now submitted. So the workflow will be rewound actually. Right? The revised order was accepted and then the main process. It will go to the process and go to the actions and then go to what? Switch to filter view. And then here we can see that it will be again rewound actually. I will now click on the hyperlink on the do number. And then see the orchestration process. It is already uh, one ability shipping. Now it will be rewound actually. And if you click on the refresh, it will be getting rewound actually. So we have to wait for it to what happens again, completed now. So the only uh, uh, relationship which has come is substitute. Right? The upsell, cross sells, everything has not come at all. <clears throat> so there are other things also in the relationship and they are not come. So we have to wait for this to get rescheduled now. Right? No scheduled result. I don't know whether it has got re rerun or not. I'm not very sure about it. Right? It will be now be going to pending, and then afterwards, what happens? It will be again scheduled. Okay? The system is very fast actually here. So, probably it must have gone. I'm not very sure about it. It must have got rescheduled or something. So, go that one. So, you know, again, go back and then make a search on this. Okay? Click on search. I'll now go that one. I'll now go to this place and click on search. Click on search. No, see whether we are able to see it or not. Click on search. You're searching for it. Okay? Item is still not editable here. Okay? Give us save and close. <clears throat> While shipping, I must be in a position to change the item actually. Whether it has long gone or not, it has to undergo a change. Actually. The workflow has to be rewound actually. And click on refresh. Oh God, I'm not able to see it. The one no. I will do one thing. I will not create a fresh order and then see it. There is no such in the actions. What happens? There is no such auto grade shipment, add to shipment, unless I record shipping cost. Fine for that. Go to place for the shipment. And then uh, if I click on this item, it will now go for the pick release actually. In the pick release, can we change the item or not? I will not see no Item must be changeable actually. Nothing is there in the bottom. 
meeting there. Then go to the actions yet. Yeah, click on the actions. In actions, they go there. Ah, nothing is coming yet. So first of all, I know auto create a shipment now. Fine. Let me first of all create a shipment actually for this. Shipment is now getting created actually. So the shipment is now created. I will now click on the shipment and then see whether the item is irritable or not. I will now go to shipment and then see whether the item is irritable. Or not. So substitution must be allowed actually. And because it is a reciprocal in nature actually. It is a reciprocal in nature. So click on a shipment number. Everything is coming. Go down open. So here item is there. And if you click on that what happens, number, fine. Click on this item number. If you click on the item number, you'll not see. It's not showing you the shipments. Everything is not showing you. Fine with that. But item is not editable. Fine. Let me get a new order and see. Let us now go on and get a new order and see. So I don't know whether it is now gone. Done properly or not. Fine. I'm not able to understand. Let us now create a new order and then have a look at it. Click on that. Otherwise, it will be a lab access for you. So click on create order. So substitution. Is there any other profile option which is there or not? I'm not very sure about it. So I will not put the US one. And then let me put the supplier plan. Computer intelligence services. Is the computer intelligence services. I'm not putting this customer no plan. So go there, click on it. Everything will be getting populated. I will not put this item for that. I will not pay this item. Is <laughs> the zero sixth item I will not go for three commodities no Click on three commodities and then click on add now. I'm adding it. So here I will not go to the second tab region. Frank, click on the second tab region is already added. I will not go to the supply area. And then here, what I will do is I will not put the warehouse as what? 001. And then here I will not allow the substitution as yes. So before submitting it, what happens? I am now allowing the item substitution as yes now. So click on submit and now see whether it works or not. <clears throat> anything else? Or are you finding anything? Any other thing in the shipping? Uh, shipment priorities will allow partial is okay. That's all okay. And I think this is required actually. Over there. So click on submit by which what happens in this place in the supply. We are now made what item substitution is yes, actually. If you go to the place, item substitution is yes, no point. So go to the place, click on submit. We'll now see whether this time this order number will be coming properly or not. <sighs> so it's what 97423 is the one. I will not the number. 97423. So go to the place. Remember. So what actions and then what happens if you go to switch to filter view and then we'll know how to look at it. We'll now click on the do number. So click on the do number now. And then this time it will be progressing and then we'll now verify this. <laughs> so click on refresh. Mode. So click on refresh. So scheduling is scheduled now. And click on refresh. And then we'll now go there, click on it, we'll now go to click on cancel and then 97423 is the one I'll now create. click on cancel. So go there, I click on cancel. So I'll now ex expand it. 97423 is the one. So we'll now go to 97423 and then make a search. Click on search. <clears throat> go to this place, fine. There's no coming. 97423 is the order number, no fine. So we'll now give a save and close for this now. <clears throat> so here again. We are unable to edit it all. I've forgotten it actually. If I click on this, I know auto create shipment. Now, fine, click on the shipment. I'm not creating a shipment also. So, the create shipment request for organization C will fail actually. The shipment cannot be created because the shipment lines are already assigned to an existing shipment actually. Okay. The ship okay, is already assigned actually. What a sign. It is already assigned. While you are doing it, what happens? It is already assigned to a shipment actually. So click on this number. The shipment number is already there actually. That's what I'm saying. Click on the hyperlink on the item. Click on the hyperlink of the item. And then open it up. It's all coming now. But I am unable to read it all. So click on auto grade shipment. From here, we will now get auto grade shipment. So now it has created. It sounds like 19601. Over there. So item is not editable at all. In the actions, what happens? Edit item is not available at all because I want to ship some other item in beyond beyond of this now. Hey, Pala, I'm going to give the lab access part, the lab access for you. Fine. I'm unable to do it. Fine. So try and then make it. In the inventory, we have already provided the, probably the substitute relationship, but here we are unable to change this now. Fine. I will open the ship commodity as three now. 
while picking itself, I want to make a change of the item to some other item. So standard order, I had to pick a motion. It is not coming. Whether it is allowing me here or not, we'll not see. Okay. No go to the water. Full full lines, we'll not see whether it is now allowing me to change the item or not. Okay. So it's the item open. So go to action and then see whether we can edit it or not. Edit. If I click on edit now. We'll not see whether we can edit the item here itself or not. Item substitute item. Right. Actions edit. On the sales order, whatever they go there, everything is coming, but item is not there at all. There's no column like item at all. So the warehouse can be changed. The shipping method, demand class, all these things can be changed, but not the item actually. So on the sales orders, we are unable to change it. Go to the actions and have all of that. Right? So that is not possible. And then I will now go to the do area and then wait a minute. Already the do, uh, the full line is not coming. Ah, you have to pop under there. I forgot right actually. Go to the place. Everything is coming. I go to the what's called the shipping area. Go to this place when <clears throat> analytics will not expand it and then see an open code. Analytics is that showing anything or not? So, the shipment area as well as the sales area, I'm unable to change the item to what 1101 I want to change. I already defined a relationship. So, item availability is not showing you in the, in the form of a graphics actually. Attributes is not showing you open supply details, fine shipping, billing, item details. I will go to the item details and then see the print. The attributes. Let me go to the item details and then see whether we can change the item or not. Click on it. The item details, what happens? The item is not editable at all. Come on here. In this place, actions, and then we can only export text. When I get that, the Purida Sharmli, every pantan terli and again, only in the Terda, the one terla lapu. Nobody is able to understand this. So I want to change the item to what? 1T101, but it is not doing so. Because I have to pick only 1T101 actually. Tracking number, everything is coming, sub inventory, all these things are coming now. But nothing is available here. Item messages are coming. Oh, uh, God. Right. Okay, this topic is not dropped actually. I will not drop this topic. So I am unable to do anything at all. Okay. So, you will pick one, you will pick one, you will pick one, you will pick one, then afterwards there is no meaning at all. Just click on the note. So, once it is picked, then click on the note. I forgot on the process of substitution actually. Right, right away. So, I will not go for the next one. Next one. I will not go there. So, next one is what doesn't test. So, here, if you see, look at it, the primary units of measures for this item is what doesn't actually, and that is wrong actually. So, if an item is going to be transacted on each pair and dozen, what should be the primary units of address? Anybody? If you're going to transact on each pair and dozen, then all the three are going to be doing it now. Your transactions are going to be there. So, in which units of address you have to, what happens to create the item actually? Huh? That is called what LCM. What is LCM? Item must be created on the LCM actually. What is LCM? Shermly, do you remember what is LCM? So, I will not go there, click on it. I will not go on and show you. Right? Click on home now and I will not show you the LCM. What is LCM? LCM is the least common multiple. Yes, sir. 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 Yes, so we have to create the primary units of address on LCM. <clears throat> Otherwise, we'll not see what the problem you're going to get it now. Okay, click on search. So click on search. <clears throat> what is the place like that? So if you go to the dozen test fine. So I have now created it wrongly actually because we did this for more than 600 to 700 items on an implementation in Saudi Arabia. Fine. There's a trading company and then we made this mistake. Fine. There's a dozen <laughs> actually. But we are going to sell it in, let's say, what that, that guy is going to do is what he's selling in dozens actually. From supplier is now giving only dozens. If you give on each, he doesn't accept the order at all. So for which, what happens by mistake, we have made it as a dozen. And then we are selling it in each. We are selling it in each. So we will not do it. Right? We have sufficient stock also of this item. And then I will not create an order for this on what happens each. Actually. Click on create order. We are going to make it what happens an order of each. We will not go to the place. So go there, click on drop it down. <laughs> go to the place. And then I will not put the computer. 
compared to some other units. And remember, the primary units of address is the stock keeping units of address. Right? It will be reporting only on the primary units of address. So leave a tab. No, go that way. No, go that. So go there. So now each is coming. Why doesn't is not coming? Why doesn't is not coming? The price has to come and doesn't. Not fine. Why each is coming here now? No. Here, remember. Order line. Order line. Items to primary units of address doesn't. Why is not coming? Sharmali, you are not Item on a primary user automatically it has to default dozen. Why is not coming? Mainly because there is no price for dozen at all. Right? Whereas in purchasing, if you give a each price, the system will automatically convert the dozen price. Whereas in order management, it is not so. Each and every unit submitter must have an exclusive pricing, remember. Fine? Otherwise, it will not do. Fine? So let us not go there. And then it will not give the price for the item in dozen also. Fine? I will not go to the price. I will not go to the order management, go to the pricing and administration. So every UIM must have a price in order management. Whereas in purchasing, it's not so. Purchasing is very powerful. It will do automatic conversion here. Order management doesn't do any automatic conversion now. I'm going to the manifestations. And then let us now create a price for this item now. Thank you. I will not no query for the corporate. Corporate segmental prices. I will not go to the place. Corp corporate segmental prices is the one. Fine. Let me create a price for this. Fine. Fine. So since there is no price for this item on this place, no fine. What are the prices times? I will not create an item. Price. So go there, click on plus. I will not put it. So the item is in dozen actually. Fine, go there. Paste it over here, fine, give a damn. <clears throat> so uh, if you are going to do what happens, uh, the pair, pair also must have a price actually. Fine? The pair also must have a price. Otherwise, on all items price, the pair must have a price. On all items, the pair must have a price. Otherwise, items Price on pair also is required. Fine. Each and every unit of is required. Fine. Drop down and then choose each and every unit of matters must have a price. Click on create charge. I will not say a dozen will not cost only eleven dollars. For one each, what happens? It must be tall. Fine. I'm giving it eleven dollar price. Fine. Allow man action. Fine. Whatever. No other place. So click on OK. No, no. So here each also we had to give a price. I'm not using the all items price. Otherwise, what happens? We had to have an entry for each also. Fine. Please the plus we had to enter on another thing also. We had to make an entry. Remember. Clear? Purida, Sharmali. Over units of better or entry. Yeah. Order management. They are going to convert this bug actually. Fine. The automatic conversions based upon the units of matters is not happening at all in order management. Fine. They will now soon correct it. It has already been raised to Oracle actually. Fine. They will now correct it. So click on whatever we'll save and close. No matter. Now, what I do is I will know what happens. I cancel this line now. If we cancel the line, I will cancel it from there. I will not put some other item on the way. I will not put 1101 and then give it up. So, some other item. We will put some other item. Now, if you go on and change it, what happens? It will not show on dozen now. If you go on and change it, what happens? It will be showing on dozen. <clears throat> so, close it now. I will not give a home now. And then end it. Go to the place. So, click on it. So click on home, then what happens? I will not paste this item. So go there. Is it doesn't receive? We give that. Now, doesn't price will be coming automatically. Oh, God, I will not give a cancel number. In fact, I can't cancel because the sales order is already locked, actually. Since the record is locked, it is not doing it. So I will not get a new order. Then So we have already given what happens? The doesn't price now. So it is not done now. It is not done. It will not go there. So it will not change it. US1 business unit. It is computer, fine. COM. <clears throat> computer service lens. I will not paste this item. So once I give it, I must go there. I will not paste this item. I it so dozen is coming. You have to see that dozen price is coming. So for each and every unit of address, it must have an exclusive entry on the price list section. Right? That is how order management is being configured. Purida Sharmali. Sharmali, can you understand it? Ah, yes, sir. Automatic conversion cutting it. Purchasing automatic conversion. Purchasing is a very powerful system. It can convert everything automatically. If you give a each price, it will convert into pair, dozen, or whatever units of address. Now, this item has been made as a what? The primary units is dozen is very wrong. And then I will not change it. I will not drop down and then change it. Here, each is coming. Why pair is not coming? Each is coming. Why pair is not coming? Pair is not coming. Why? Yeah. We are not given any price for pair at all. Had we given a price for pair, it will be coming. Each also, items each is not given. But we have an all items each. Fine. All items each is there because of which it is coming. Fine. All items each is there because of which it is coming. I don't go there. I am not going to order. No. So this is wrong. No. Fine. If you want to ship five quantities, you will not see how the stock is going to be. So if I am shipping five quantities, let us say. Five quantities, I am going to add it. Fine. Click on add. No. 
So I'm adding for each. I don't know. Doesn't know. Go to the place and then see. But how it's going to come? Thank you. Don't go to the place. So go to the supply. <clears throat> Warehouse is what zero zero one. <clears throat> and then go there and then submit it. We face this problem. <clears throat> in one place, what happens? Uh, one person is now. What happens? Selling only in what happens? A pack of three only. Fine. Pack of three is selling it. Fine. One other item. And then these guys are selling it in each actually. Pack of three is the one, and then selling it each. So how the system is going to report is what it will now always report on pack of three. We have given the primary units as pack of three, so it will be reporting it. Let us say three is the three laptops. Just for understanding, because there are three laptops there. So if I ship one laptop, what will be the stock in the inventory? Tell me. It is a it is a pack of three. Fine, pack of three. We have hundred packs basically. Another uh, let us say ten packs. Fine, ten packs is the one. I am shipping one laptop. So what will be the stock in the inventory? Now? Huh? Ten packs is there. Totally thirty laptops are there. I am shipping one. I am shipping only one. So what will be the what will be the stock in the inventory? Tell me. Ten packs are there. Ten packs means what? Thirty laptops are there. If one laptop is shipped, so what will be the stock in the inventory? <laughs> Items, primary units, some is what? Pack of three. So long. Yo, so long. Come on, come on, tell me. Huh? Yeah. ஒரேட்டாப்ட் <laughs> <laughs> laptops 9.66 of pack of 3 it will report actually 9.66 lap pack of 3 it will not report fine it will not report 29 laptops it will not report what 9.66 because it will not 0.33 has been shipped it has shipped 0.33 of the pack pack of 3 one laptop means what 0.33 has been shipped now right? so this is the problem which we face more, more than 200 items on this we raised a sir oracle was shouting at me no no you don't know that the primary unit submitter has to be lcm fine how come without knowing it why you have gone for configuring the client location actually you are shouting like anything shall i raise this to your management that what happens with the half knowledge people are working on it now i told him please 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 don't raise anything fine i am now closing the sr immediately and then uh, what happens we convince the customer and then we dropped all those two items and then we created new items with the lcm actually he was saying how come a fraction of whatever is a 0.99 laptop is shipped and how come we can say like that it's not possible at all right so it must be lcm remember again and again i'm telling you it must be lcm actually so go to the place i don't go that i'm not going to ship it no fine with that 97424 is the one fine with that so i will not go and query no fine with that so uh, i will not go to the what prices i will not go to the what i will not go to what go there so let me 97424 i am going to ship it no fine with that so click on it i will not go to what <coughs> uh i will now go to inventory now fine inventory overview i am going over there so let me go to the inventory overview and then make a search fine click on it i will now go to the ship and fine click on shipments i go there so go to the shipments <clears throat> so go to the manage shipment lines and then 97424 the one 97424 the one so go there so 97424 idu puri da the concept ungalku mola puri da ungalku adu romba romba important right every item must be on the lcm of all the transactional units of measures what actions and then go to pick release no final breaking release so go there now i know shipping five quantities of this no i am not shipping five quantities we will see what how the stock is going to be so go that to my seven close so go the seven close and then let me ship it also so once with the ship come it will be coming to stage direction thank you for wait for it to get stage Firmly, the concept puri da pack of three in board ago pula the each in board no. Now it is no stage no. It is no stage. I click on the ship panda then it will perform the ship confirmation. So go that one. I will now perform the ship confirmation. So click on ship confirmation. And upon SSA, the inventory gets decremented actually. You must remember it. Upon SSA, the inventory gets decremented. <clears throat> so click on ship confirmation. It is now giving you a warning point on beta and volume. You can ignore it very well now. Click on SSA. And then we will now have a look at the SSA now. Now go to the right click and then duplicate now. Duplicate, and then we will now have a look at the SSA. So upon SSA, the the item gets decremented actually. 
I will not get right click on the what happens. You go to the duplicate tab. So in this place, what happens? They don't go there. Have a look at the monitor process. They don't go to the monitor process and have a look at it. So we'll wait for SSA. SSA is the one which is responsible for integrating your what happens? Interfacing your shipping to order order entry now. SSA is the one which is responsible for interfacing your shipping to order entry. So we'll wait for SSA to get completed. So once it is completed, we'll go on and have a look at the stock. So refresh sheet and then you'll now see the SSA is going to run now. Fine. SSA is now running now. So in the meantime, what happens? You don't go there. I will not go to the place. I will not go to the inventory overview and then have a look at the stock of this. Fine. What is the inventory overview? Inventory overview. So once when the SSA, then the item gets incremented. The reservation gets relieved and then the item quantity gets decremented only upon SSA. Go to the place. I will not go to the what? Inventory. And then have a look at the stock. And click on the manage item quantities. Then query for the stock. Okay. Items, primary units are better than dozen actually. So I don't know that word. So click on search. So click on search. So once we search for it, whatever you can see, it is what 99.58 dozen. It was initially 100 dozens actually. It has now become what 99.58333 dozens. It is not exact at all. So if you ask the computer for 10 divided by 3, multiplied by 3, how much it is? If I'm in you know, ordinary mathematics, I'm asking you. Fine. Certainly. 10 divided by 3 into 3. How much is the answer? 10 divided by 3 into 3. It is 10. Sharmali, Vikya. Sharmali, you are a bit of Normal mathematics is 10 divided by 3 into 3 is 10. Whereas for computer, it is 9.9999. When you divide 10 by 3, it will be 3.33333. And then if you multiply by 3, it will be 9.99999. If you are approximating three, four digits decimals, then what happens? It will be 9.999 or something like that. Right? It will be coming. So divisions will now end up erroneously if you are not doing on LCM actually. If you are not doing on LCM, divisions may result in erroneous things. So at many a places, what happens? The closing tablet, it will now say, I have what? What happens? 10,000.23 closing tablets are there. That guy was asking is a they were basically a, what was a medical uh, trading company actually. So so many items are coming in fractions also. What is this fraction? I don't understand this. <laughs> it is because of this problem, because the primary unit submitted is not LCM actually. And then here we have one more facility. Fine, go there. So it's not showing you this. Fine, go to the view and then go to the what columns and then here what happens? You will not see uh, uh, on the quantity. Fine, click on the quantity. I will not say UAM conversion also. I'm not going to click on the UAM conversion also when I enable it. So if you enable the UAM conversion here, if you click on it, it will not show you how much is the stock on this one. If I click on it, on each also. If I click on it, it will not show you the stock on each. So this is the workaround we are given. Right? On each, what happens? It will be what? 1,194, uh, 999. 100 dozens actually. 100 dozens is what? 12,000. <clears throat> so it's now giving you on this one. This again. What was 1.194.9996 is coming mainly because of multiplication and division. It must be what 1195 actually. Fine. It must be 1195. Fine. But because of this multiplications and divisions, this error has error has come in. So this is a very, very difficult task. So always have a habit of what? Uh, it, it was having what uh, the thing five has been this uh, said one it has shown as what one one nine five it is one thousand two hundred actually so hundred dozens is what one thousand two hundred actually so hundred dozens was there is stock one thousand two hundred five has been shipped and then five has been shipped means what that shows what one one nine five but it will now report like this now one one nine four point nine 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 it is error it is not an erroneous reporting it is the problem of the computer the computer doesn't know how to divide. It knows only what was the multiplication. Additions and multiplication it does perfectly. Whereas divisions and subtractions, what happens? It makes a problem. What happens? Don't do it. Number was so. So one one nine five. It has to show a stock because hundred dozens is one thousand two hundred, and then five has been shipped. It has to show as one one nine five, but it's not showing like this. So we dropped around two hundred items on the client's location, and then we create a new item, and then say from now onwards use this item. We are given underscore one for all those items. And then whenever they put on the sales order, they are putting only with the underscore one. You put it up. Hello. <clears throat> the problem of what happened this one. Whereas here, I have made it very properly. In the dozen test, dual units of measures, I have done it. 
Fine. If you want to monitor in multiple units of measures, again, make the primary as LCM and then the other units are the other units. Here it will be okay. No, I can do it. Do it some other time. Go do it. Let me find each. Go the clean notice. Here, what happens? I will not make it. Fine. So I will not affect it. Uh, refresh. What happens? It will be shipped actually. It will be awaiting billing. <clears throat> it will be shipped and then no awaiting billing. No, fine. Click on that. Will not go there and then create another sales order for this. No, fine. For the dual units of measures. In the dual units of measures. Primary units of measures must be the shipping units of measures. Remember, fine. It must be the shipping units of measures. Fine. So remember, Sharmini, Ricky, and I. Our mic out. No, no, here, 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 here. Okay, lah. Fine. So the primary units of measures on a dual units of measures must be the shipping units of measures. Remember, on whichever unit you are going to ship it, fine. The units of measures. Because we are done one project on that. What about the G? Actually, fine. That we face the problem. So uh, uh, in G. Uh, it, it, we are working on Kazakhstan. Kazakhstan is a British colony, right? So the British colony is following our what happens our kilograms basically. So the sales officers will be booking the what happens item in kilograms, whereas it was manufactured in US. US is always on pounds actually. So they made a mistake by making the primary units as kg, and that caused a lot of problems basically. Right? So it should not be on kg at all. If we are going to monitor in two different units of measures. The primary units of metals must be the shipping units of metals. Remember, fine. That must be the, fine. very important. Then I went there and then I was asked to correct the problem. Then we drop the item and then we create another item with what pounds as the primary units of metals. And then the secondary units of metals is kilograms. <clears throat> it was in Ebus area. So at the time, what about the IRISO used to come now? Fine. So through IRISO we used to do it. So I made it and then it worked proper, perfectly. So uh, when you are having a dual units of metals, fine. The, it must be on the shipping units of metals. Okay. Hold that. I will not put this item. <clears throat> So item itself is on each only when coming. Uh, I don't have any price of dozen actually. Fine. Even then, even if you put the price dozen, it will not come. Fine. It will not come only as the price. Only. If I, even if I put the price as dozen as something, fine, eleven point five something like that, it will not come because the primary units of measures will default. The defaulting will become. This I will not go for five now. Thank you. So click on it. Thank you. Click on add more. It is reported on dual units of measures. Thank you. Click on it. Don't go there. Go to the place and go to the supply, and then here, and I'm going to say zero zero one of the one. We are putting it up. So click on submit. The item is on dual unit submissions. Click on submit and on submit. So item is on dual unit submissions. Thank you for that. So nine seven four two five is the one. Thank you for it. Click on okay, and then good actions and then good art. Switch to film view, and then here nine seven four two five is the one. And then it will be getting interface to shipping execution. The item is measured on dual unit submissions. So if you go to the manage item coordinates and then query for the item, no, thank you for it. It will say both the unit submissions will be shown over here. Go to this place. What am And it must be on the LCM also. Fine, that is another thing. So you can see what about the UM converters coming. Fine, that I will not go to the view. 10,000 is the quantity actually. If I go to the view, is the columns, I go to the columns, and then here, what I was, I will not say secondary quantity. Secondary on and also will not show in dozens actually. In dozens, it will not show. So, secondary on and is in what? 833.3333. It's an error actually. So, there is a reason because of approximation, what I was not coming at all. 10,000 by 12 is what? 833.333 is on. It's a dozen actually. If you go to the view, and then you go to the word columns and then secondary, what happens? I will not say units of measures also. You have, you have name also. So secondary units of measures name also will be coming. So it is a dozen actually. So 10,000 is not shown here. But here the stock will be pakka. <clears throat> there will not be any problem at all. Fine. So 97425 is the one. So it's what? 97, what is the number? 97425. If you go to the place and then let us not query it. No, fine. Cancel. I will not try to ship it. 97425. Thank you. Cancel now. Five corners are getting directly cleaned. Now, if you have a conflicting units of measures between primary and secondary, the primary must be shipping units of measures, and that too, what happens? It must be the LCM actually. Thank you. So, I will not go to the manage shipment lines. Nine seven four two five. Nine seven four two five. Nine seven four two five. So, in this case, both the kilograms. Both the dozens and each are in the quantity class, actually. In some cases, it won't be like this. And in some cases, it won't be like this. Say, for example, the zinc sheet. The zinc sheet is now sold in kilogram in the market. And then they will now have a roll of 50 meters roll. When 50 meters is rolled up, and then they will now sell it in kilogram. It's a very costly sheet. And then every kilogram will be around 10,000. And so, what happens? They'll be selling it to you. They'll now weigh and then give it to you. 
and then one roll will be having around 10 meters or say let us say 10 meters 10 meters roll is now going to cost you 10000 but when you cut and then issue to the manufacturing you will be getting it in meters actually you will not cut one meter of sheet and then you will not issue to manufacturing so in which case what happens uh, you have to have what uh, length is in what your length class and then weight is in weight class so we have two different units of measures coming on the same item actually and again, in this case, what about, you make the primary as what? Shipping units of measures. If you're going to sell it, the zinc sheet itself, you're going to sell it. Whichever way they are what about, selling it to the customers on length class or weight class, that has to be made as a primary unit of measures. It's a very complex one. <laughs> and then whenever you encounter any problems like this, no, fine. again, approach me. I will not give you a guideline because I have done it. I've done it for G actually. <sighs> fine. Such things happen. In this case. You know, like, you know, the stage so now this uh, shipment number is coming frankly on it i will not ship it so once when you ship it what happens the ssa will be running upon ssa the item gets decremented and then here it will not show very properly i will not go to the ship confirmation now the ssa will be running so wait for the ssa to complete and then this ssa is going to relieve the reservation as well as brought up as it will be doing what decrementing the quality also <clears throat> so go there so go to this place and then wait for the ssa to complete too. so ssa will be running now since you put it in the weight, so once it is completed, if you go to the manager item policy and make a search for it, it'll be what 9,995 exactly. Yeah, it'll be 9,995. UM is a very, very tough topic, and then you have to be very cautious in uh, configuring this for the client actually. So 9995 is the one, right? 999 because SSA has got completed, but again, the on and on design is always erroneous because we are dividing it between. Since we are dividing it in 12, what happens? The on and in dozen is always erroneous. Such. It is not the correct one. Even if you operate it over 10 digits also, what happens? It will be giving you an error only. And 10 divided by 3 is always erroneous in computer. It will be 3.333333. It is not exact. So divisions is very difficult for the computer to do. Whereas multiplications, you can do anything. Any number of digits, any number of digits, it will not, it will not have any problem at all. So try to what happens, understand the what happens the the problems of the computer actually and then always configure on lcm right. lcm and then if it is going to be shipping on dual units of measures the primary must be your uh, what happens the shipping units of measures and not your booking units of measures you may book on different different manners but what happens it must be on the shipping units of measures while on the zinc sheet itself let us say uh, the customer is asking in length one meter of zinc sheet is asking for but you must have what happens you are going to ship it in the kilogram or other each means what or whatever it is, fine. Kilograms means kilogram and length, fine. Whichever uh, the thing which you're going to ship it, fine. That must be the primary unit of it. And now, what happens? Uh, the conversion is available on the shipping area. Previously, it was not possible at all. Because, uh, say, for example, the zinc sheet, fine. It is now purchased in kilograms and then what happens? Uh, measured in length, actually. So, kilogram is your primary unit of it. And then, if the customer is asking for two meters, fine. And then it will be shipping in kilogram. There we can change it to meters and then ship also. While shipping it, we can very well change and then ship it. Fine, that is very much possible. So the change of the units of measures is possible on a dual units of measures only in the shipping area. Fine, number only on the shipping area it's possible. Whereas on the pricing, you must have an exclusive pricing. Nariya peser na na. Sharmili peser the puri da na na peser lang. Rumba kashmar kala. Customer na sir. I will again repeat now. Fine. A zinc sheet is purchased in the market in kilograms. And then we are selling it in meters, let us say. Let us say one meter is equal to one kilogram. It's a simple conversion. One meter is equal to one kilogram. So once when the customer orders for two meters of zinc sheet, fine, we will be shipping only two kilograms because the primary units is in kilograms. The primary units in kilograms will not ship it. So while making it as a two meters, during shipping, we can change the units of measures from what happens length to uh, kilograms and vice versa. You can very well do it. So shipping, what happens if you put the dual units of measures, we can very well change the units of measures and then ship it accordingly. Whereas on the pricing, you must have a pricing for each and every units of measures. Pricing is not possible. Pricing, it expects you to have a price on every units of measures. Whereas it is not the case in purchasing. In purchasing, it does the conversion automatically for every units of measures. If the units of metals is having conversion. Whereas in sales orders, what happens? It needs the exclusive pricing for every units of metals. And if it is a dual units of metals, we can very well change it. If it is a single units of metals, we cannot change. 
Fine, we cannot change it. Single units of meters, what happens? If it is going to be kilogram, we cannot change it to meters and then ship it. Fine. We can ship only on that, what happens? The primary units of meters only. So these are the limitations, fine. So when you run the record, please take a note of all these things. Next is what? We are going to go for the next topic. Mental exhaustion. <laughs> coffee <laughs> 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 we'll now go for a coffee break. Yes, okay, fine. So the team here has now got mentally exhausted, and so we are going for a coffee break now. So our uh, Hey, Danush, ni on the corner, ya? The two to go there, ya? The Madras car, ya? Ni pa? Two to go there, sir. Two to go there, ya? Ni okay, fine. Okay, now we are going to go for a break. Now, fine. You people remain here. We will now be back. So it is now eleven ten. So eleven twenty five. We are going to begin now. Fine. After coffee break, we will now begin at eleven twenty five. <clears throat> okay, sir. Be here now. Fine. I am not leaving it. I am not going to convert it now. Eleven twenty five. We will now begin now. Fine. Eleven twenty five. Correct. Now, there, ba. Ila ni kwa na mal start mo na ulit. Assign and leave. Hi. Welcome back, all of you. We are now beginning the next session. Actually, so we are going to go to the next topic called advanced pricing. So for advanced pricing, what you need is you need to know technical actually. Fine. ADF knowledge is required. And then whatever you have done on the advanced pricing on the EBS, everything can be done here also. But the only thing is what it is a totally technical actually. We are going to see about advanced pricing. So the first one is what? Buy one, get one free. We are going to see. We'll not have a look at it. We'll not go on and have a look at it. Buy one, get one free. <laughs> we'll not go to the fusion order management documentation. <laughs> In fusion order management, I open up the fusion order management documentation. If you open it up, you will now find one. Buy one, get one free. Yes. <clears throat> so double click on it. And then you buy one, one will be free actually. Fine, double click on it. It's a very tough one. And then every activity is tough only on advanced pricing because you need to do it. First of all, we had to get the inventory item ID first of all. We had to identify the inventory item. ID. So go to the reports and analytics in the navigator. So go there, click on it. I will now go to the reports and analytics in the navigator actually. I will go to the placement. I will go to what? I will go to the home icon. And then I go to the tools. And then I go to the reports and analytics. What are the tools now? I will go to the tools. And then go to the reports and analytics. <clears throat> reports and analytics. On the tools, I am now going to go to the reports and analytics. Watch it very keenly. It is a very tough one. So go there. Go. I'm not going to so on the click on the browse catalog on the right top. On the right top, we have a browse catalog. I click on this browse catalog. I'm clicking on it. I'm clicking on the browse catalog. So once when you click on what happens, you'll be landing up on the reports and analytics page fully. So having done this, what happens? You go there on the right top. Fine. It'll be signing in on the new page. Fine. So go there. <laughs> click on the new tab. So click on the data model. And then what happens under published published reporting? So click on the data model under published reporting. Click on it. So click on the data model under published reporting. So uh, you will have dashboards, right? And then you will now see not this one, no fine. Go to create, no fine. Click on create. On the under under the create, what happens? The published reporting, and then I go to the data model. So under the create area, fine. I go to the published reporting, and then I click on the data model. Fine. Go to the data model. So this is what is. <laughs> go to the project. So the data model, you are now querying for it. We go to the data model. So we are now coming to the data model. Data model we are coming. Go like what? Come to this place. Go like what? And then here, what happens? I will now click on plus and then I will now write a SQL query. Click on it. So in the diagram, what happens? Drop down. I will now write a SQL query. On the diagram, click on the plus and then click on the SQL query. I'm going to write it. I will now say it's a test. Test is one. Go like so go there. It's a test. Go there. It is the application DB FSCM is a one. Fine. Data source is what? Application DB FSCM. Drop it down. I will not choose what application DB FSCM. No, I'm choosing it. So go there is a standard SQL query. I will know what happens. I will not write the select statement. There's a select statement. So let me write it. So the same one with a single code on this one. I will not write it. So here uh, I will not put my item over here. No, fine. Item is what? My item is what? T. <clears throat> one T1. Fine. One T101. So 1T101 underscore standard order, that is the item. So my item is different. Right? It is a 1T101 standard order for which what happens, I'm going to write it. So click on OK. 
So I am not changing the item to my item of and twenty one zero one standard order. Sharmini, is it clear till now? Yes, sir. So we are written now. So keep your mic on now, so that whatever the inner how to switch it off. Fine. You can even because there is no disturbance on your room now, and you can even keep it off. So you can speak if you want. So click on OK. So we are now clicking on OK. We are now writing the SQL query. So it's processing it now. Click on it. So once when it processes it, what happens? It will be coming like this. Okay. So one, I'm going to come on. Then click on OK button. What happens? It will be coming like this. So it will be coming like this. New what is not coming like this. So go there. So here, what happens? Click on data view tree view. So click on view data view tree view. Right? Go to the data and then go to the view and then go to the tree view. Now. So it's already in the tree view. Fine. So data view tree view. We are now giving it now. So we got the item ID. So one way, what happens? It will not show you the item ID, the item code, org ID, everything it will not show. So item code is this, item ID is this. Fine. Now take a copy of the item ID. Okay. So item ID is this now. Anybody. Item code is what? One T one standard order. So let us not take a copy of this. This is the way we have to take a copy of the item 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 ID. So I will not take a copy of the item ID. So go that. I will not copy it. Click on copy. Copy. I will not paste it on this place. No fine item ID. So item ID is coming. Let me paste it on this place. No fine. The same itself. I'm pasting it now. <clears throat> so go that. So this is the one now. So I will make it big. big. <clears throat> Just like that. So this is the item ID. So we are going to use it on product transformation. I will not give a save also. Thank you for saving. I'm not saving it. So this is the item ID. We identified the item ID. So how to identify the item ID? We can even add the same SQL text. What happens if we can even use the org ID also? If you have to use it, what happens? You can even use the for the org ID also. Fame select statement, what happens? You can even use it for org ID also. Right? We can even identify so many things. Org ID also can be. Right. Catalog group ID. So many things are coming up automatically also. So item ID is identified and then I have replaced it actually. Fine. From this place, what happens? I know two, three, five, six, the one fine replace it. So this is the activity of what identifying the item ID is complete. Now I go for the product transformation rule. Fine. I will not go to the manage product transformation rules, and then I'm going to use it. <coughs> so go that point. You can query on the organization. So we are now identified the item ID. This is the one now. Fine. Two, three, five, six, the one. Hello. Which is the Hello. Tell, tell me, tell me, tell me. Uh, sir, meeting but join but the uh, project meeting, sir. Okay, okay. Come back. Come back. Okay. Thank you. You always watch all the records. No, fine. It's very, very important. Watch all the records. Yes, sir. Definitely. Okay. Then. Now we are going to do on the buy one get one free on the product transformation rule. So all the advanced pricing will be kept on product transformation rules. So we are going to write a product transformation rule for buy one get one free. No, as well as buy one get one free. So, so I will now go to the product transformation room and then do it now. So I will now close the screen because it's already done. Okay, click on deep and then let me close it. Now I will now go to the product transformation room. Okay? I will now close the screen also. <clears throat> go there. The monitor process brought up and then go there. I will now go to the product transformation rules. I click on setup and maintenance. And then let me go to the product transformation room. So click on it. Go there, click on it. I will now go to the search now. Okay? Go to the manage product transformation rules. Manage percentage. Product, product transformation rule possible. So manage product transformation rule is the one through which we are going to do all the advanced pricing. Right, every advanced pricing, whatever you have seen in EBIS, everything has been written only via this. Unfortunately, they have made it as a code rating. Now, right? this is a very very difficult one. Right? What to? We don't have any other code. So go to the manage product transformation rules, and then we are going to write our advanced pricing for buy one get one free. Now. So what is the price of standard order? 1101. What is the price? Anybody? Huh? Huh? Illa. One dollar now. We are given all items prices one dollar. And then when you go for it, what happens? It will automatically add another line now. What will be the price of the second line actually? It is buy one, get one free. So what will be the price of the second line actually? Sharmili, Huh? You'll be one dollar. Zero or one correct. It will be zero. She is very correct. Tanja Urlan the Karata Sultava. First line is now $1 ago, and the second line add Pandaka, second line's price will be $0. It will automatically add the second line at a zero price. So we are going to configure that. So don't go that one. Don't go that. So elevate what happens if condition available. Don't go that one. I will not pick on plus. Sir, tax safety, sir, and the free product to Kadago. Aditir Lenegate. Tax safety out of one. You don't want to be. 
ப்ரீ ப்ராடக்ட் டாக்ஸ் இருக்குமானே தெரியல முதல்ல எனக்கு டாக்ஸேஷன்லாம் நீங்க லோக்கலைசேஷன் பேட்ச் வரும்போது பண்ணிக்கோங்க அதை பத்தி பாருங்க ஒரு <laughs> எனக்குள் <laughs> So this is the code which I have done now. Fine, take a copy of it. Look over there. Well, now paste this code. No. Fine, enter the item code. Paste it. Fine, give it back. So order transformation rules dot fulfillment line view dot inventory. What is that? Inventory something now. So this is one now. Fine, inventory item ID. This one so. So this is one. Fine, and so we had to have one more and also. Look over there. Fine, go there. Come on. Well, now click on what? Ah, this one did change. Fine, go there. You have to find and for this. அண்டு போடணுமே இங்க இங்க அண்டு எப்படி போடுறது சோ கிளிக் ஆன் இட் அப்ப நான் சே சிம்பிள் டெஸ்ட் பிளஸ் போட்டு ஒரு சிம்பிள் டெஸ்ட் கொடுத்தா அதுவே அண்டு பண்ணு தான் பார்க்கலாம் போட்டக்க இங்க அண்டு வந்துச்சு நினைக்கிறது சோ போதே சோ இங்க அண்டு வந்துச்சு ஃபைன் when you give a plus again what happens the and is getting added actually got it now fine the and is getting added on the previous line so go so go that one and is getting added next is what order transformation rules dot fulfill line not order quantity no I will not go there. I will not put the order quantity also. This is the ADF object actually. I will, go that one. I will not select it and then click on it and then go there. It has to end in order quantity actually. Go there. Where is it? There is two things. Am I correct? This is the one now. Fine. Order transmission rules are full line or order quantity. <clears throat> I will not say what? Order quantity. Fine. Same or more than two. I will not drop down. Fine. I will not say what? Same or more than two. So, if the customer is buying for more than two, you will not get one free yet. That is what it is. Fine. Clear? Sharmali Purindu is there. Fine. Yes, sir. If the quantity is more than two or more than two, you will get one, one free quantity. No? This is what it is. Okay, fine. There is no doubt. Then, then it will be coming. Up. So, likewise, you have to write all the conditions in this form. No? So for which the ADS object, ADF objects, you must know about how to find it out. Otherwise, you have to drop down to the magnifier and then do it. It's a very, very tough task. So nowadays, what happens? Uh, technical will not come into picture at all. Only functional guys have to write all these things. When all the advanced pricing, you only have to write the code actually. By dropping down, dropping down, you have to find out all the possible combinations and then list it down and then use it appropriately. This has been given by one of my technical guys only. he told me whatever requirements you come to me you come to me i will not write the code and then give it to you that is what he said <clears throat> but you have to learn it so it's a very tough one. then then is what asset new by the way so in the den what happens you go there then i click on it i will not drop it down as a make it as asset new asset new is the one now i click on it asset new is the one i know that one so in the asset new what i am going to do is what i have written it separately now fine inge irukku inge kolla na thaniya edittadu order transfer rules dot add new order line we are going to add a new order line So click on it. I will not add a new order line. <clears throat> it is for buy one and get one free. If you want to have buy one pant, one shut is free means what? The shut code has to come. In the place, in the place, shut code will be shut to free. Shut code will be free. This item is free. Got it now? Fine. So if I give the shut code, then that will be free actually. I will not enter this one. So I am not going the same item actually. So this is the order. Fine, go there. This is the one now. Fine. Order transformation rules dot add new order line now. Fine, come on. Add new order line. Fine, go there. Come on. Afterwards, what happens? We are doing what? We go to the order line, and then here, what happens? We are editing now. Fine. So click on edit. So once when you edit it, what happens? It will be coming like this in the bottom actually. If you click on the edit icon on this now, fine. It will now come like this. <clears throat> fine. The new item ID you have to give it, and then view row IMPL we are doing now. Fine. View row IMPL is the one we have to give it now. On the edit icon, what happens? We have to give this thing. I go that one. I will not click on the edit icon. So two things we are doing. Right? So click on edit icon. If the edit icon is not there, fine. 
So in the Mari Barla Naga, you give a same, then it will become editable actually. You select it and then see, select Pana on the room, select Pani Pagram, select Pana edit as number of edit as select Pana edit action, select Pana the Brom, it becomes editable actually. After having populated order transformation rules, dot add new order line, and then if you select it, whatever the editable is now becoming on, fine, click on it. I'm going to give edit. So the new item ID is available there now. I'm ready to pull up and put one other check. So either three to one eight in Kirk. So we have the item ID over here now. This item ID. So the same item is free. If you give something else, the, that item will be free. Buy one pound, one shirt will be free. Now. Take off it. I'll well, put this item on. Item code I'm putting in. And then bureau IMPL exactly. I'm not copying it from here. Go back to order transformation rules dot fulfillment lines vo dot bureau IMPL. Is a play copy when you put a technical group. So we have a document ID also for this. So if you go to the uh, support and then look at the document ID, it will explain exactly what you had to write on this note. Again, that's the good. So paste it and give okay now. If the constant is leave it now. If I click on okay, by which we are now completed. Buy one, get one free. Panidia, Sharmili, you there? Yes, sir. The second line on the arm chamber, more complex. It's called Pandla. Second line of Pandla, second line of Pandla. 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 So first one is not done. So we are now completed it. So our Rambo Kanra is already there. Did you see that? Sharmili. Answer the question, sir. Answer the question. Did you see that? Fine. Very good. Very good. Very great. Now. So click on save now. Save it again. Fine. Good. Save. Save it. So now what happens? It's now getting saved actually. The rule is now saved actually. Fine. Good. So no validation errors found actually. Status is there. Fine. Good. Add it. What happens? No no validation errors found. So what happens? I will know what happens. Publish it actually. So release it to production. Having done this, what happens? You have saved it. So click on release it to production. <coughs> it gets released now. So it is now released to production. The rules were released to production. You buy two quantities, you'll be getting what happens? Twenty-five percent discount. Whatever is advanced pricing in EBS, everything you have to write only on the product transformation rules. For which whatever you must know all the if condition objects and then then condition objects all of them will list it. For now, you can list it. Because in the below, there are below, below IDF objects are there. Fine. As much as you can, you can do it. Now, I am going to do it. This is a trial and error. But initially, what happens? It will not be possible for you to do it. So let us now go there and then we will not give this. Click on it. Now go there. So click on it. Now create a new order for this. Fine. Buy one get one free. Sharmi is telling me that concept is not working. Now I am going there. வேலைட்டுவேன்ிக்கும்ிக்கும்ிக்கும்ிக்கும்ிக்கும்ிக்கும்ிக்கும்ிக்கும்ிக்கும்ிக்கும்ிக்கும்ிக்கும்ிக்
code of mine you cannot see one line is added actually the second line has got added what will be the price of the second line now buy 3 get 3 free what will be the price solunga baba sharmi solu baba second line la first line la price und 1 dollar each what will be the price of second line second line now zero sir zero da solti abinadiye da yen illa yosikira it will be zero price you can now see the price will be zero got it now my and the technical way is saying that whatever you have done on ebis on the advanced pricing everything can be done and you can even do more also because it is all coding actually so unfortunately they have made it as coding as far as advanced pricing is concerned and it's a very tough task actually ebis is very easy fine it is a functional activity there is no need for any coding at all everything is a drop down list box everything is there and then refer my ebis records fine right? ebis records are also given to you fine right? that you can go on and refer my order management records fine right? every concept of advanced pricing is fully explained there hey certainly neem parm already na ebis noda records la paare yes sir ah paaka so this is an intro into advanced pricing with which what happens i stop fine right? so beyond which what happens i don't know anything more than that no fine right? we have a pricing algorithm Uh, logic also there also we have got some thing right? so idha inna nariya vishayangal la irukku right pricing algorithm vechi modify pannidala nu kudulam right so adala irukke na ninge idla poi pera support la poi search panninga nariya document irukku onnu onnu 15 page ku setup bayangaram irukku setup solla ayyo the setup paathale asandhu peenga i will not show you one of the setup from this right setup is really very very difficult actually for the advanced pricing hmm. i will now see i will now show you some setups on this one. ஒரு <laughs> it's a beautiful document it is you know written way back in 2017 but it is an excellent document my god so it writes everything systematically in a very methodical manner complete are business rules have to use pandran solle nariya person solran sir sir padichi padichi solunga sonna idella mudiyala because it's all totally technical actually idu technical ah irukadnalai enala pannave mudiyala enala padikave mudiyala appala ellame indha maari dhaan eludhanum code eludhanum mari ma indha mari code edhi 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 kondu povum mudiyum கம்ப்ளீட்டா கோட் எழுதுறதுனால என்னால அது புரிஞ்சிக்கவே முடியல லாஜிக்கலா இருக்கு அழகா இருக்கு என்னால அது கோட் எழுதுறதுலாம் வந்தாலே நம்மளால நமக்கு இது வேலையே கிடையாது நம்மளோட வேலையே கிடையாது இது மாதிரி இருக்குது இந்த டாக்குமெண்ட் இது வந்து எவ்வளவு நைன்டி த்ரீ பேஜஸ் டாக்குமெண்ட் ஆக்சுவலி இருந்துச்சு இது டயர் வைஸ் பிரைசிங் எல்லாமே இருக்குது இது ரொம்ப பவர்ஃபுல் டூல் ஆக்சுவலா so if required what happens you have to go through this and then uh, do it no point by creating a rule and all thing over everything is explained eppadi in the if end la enna la pannirukanga ella vidhamana formulations illa edirukanga enna la mudiyala adu idhu mari adhe mari pricing algorithm is very difficult actually and you have got documents on pricing algorithm also so there also what happens you can very well do it so use this business rules fine right? depending upon the need fine if the requirements are really very complex then you have to use the business rules and similarly extensions are available fine what are so now extension very simple sir you extension with technical then you buy it if you buy that extension technical what happens you can very well do it now i will not show you fine one extension they have done now he has not shown me one extension so i will not go that extension i will not see fine ext extension I forgot it actually fine om extension examples actually so yes give so these examples you get it written by technical team actually click on extensions so go that so this note is also describing every uh, what happens ready made extensions available here set billing transaction type for based upon order type right if the billing transaction type method for an order type based pannalam idha 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 code is actually right? for each and everything there is a code actually right? this is the complete code actually second one is a set line based upon the shipping instructions this is the code now find complete code so ready made code is available you have to only cut a cup cut and copy and paste on this right the code is available similarly set packaging instructions on the order line if item is as ordered if item is as ordered then if you put it what happens that packing instructions will be automatically populated on the line check system lines and all so these are the ones now fine so likewise what happens there are some 30 examples are ready madely available on that note no fine it is the oracle note actually so you can use these extensions to what i am doing now fine business rules and extensions will now help you a lot on this idhula vende without document id 
So 2252683.1 is the document ID. If you go there, then find it. So there are ready-made examples that are available. Apart from that, what happened, the technical team also will help you to write extensions actually. Extensions are the karma. And the update paste pani execute pang. Yengi thodu ure ure examples zurikan nikena the engan terla the. Na terda soldu mande engva. Na paak na engva the extensions lo ure example ure ready-made example in there. Engva the ure paying gurthu kaam. Ida paning sir coming at desk advance kaam na engar engar terla the. என்ன <laughs> and the pricing panel record okay sharmili okay sir i will not stop it no friend stop this record stop recording we're not recording so we are not completed the pricing till now right we're not going to go to the normal or what happens sales orders right? so we are going to begin our sales order activity with our what ship set action we are going to begin with the ship set fine ship set we are going to begin thank you i will not share screen now so pricing la munadi mundi poche thani record up aidunga so is a ship set action so here if you go on and see in this place no thank you so here what i'm going to do is so i am now going to ship what uh, these items no right so i have a laptop here i have a laptop here i have a, what happens a carry case here and an excellent warranty so i'm going to sell it this fine previously we have seen as a kit actually now i'm selling it separately right laptop carry case and excellent warranty i'm going to put all the three items on a ship set actually I don't know. Go there. And then create a sales order for all the three items. Right? This is fully shippable and billable. And then this is what only shippable but not billable. And then this is only billable actually. This item is only billable. So this one. So let us now create a laptop. I will not go there. Keep on. I will not create a sales order. I will not create a sales order. I will not create a sales order. This time, what happens? I am going to make a ship set actually. I will click on create order. I will not go to the create order. So click on. I am not going to make a ship set actually. Drop it down. <coughs> Go there. So go down. And then I'm going to go to the US one business unit. Go there. It's a computer rental service. Computers, computer rentals and services. I will not take up with the laptop. So click on it. So all items of prices are one. It's okay. Fine. Go there. Laptop. I will not put it. Go there. So the all items price will be coming up. Give a tap. So go there. I will not go for five commodities. Five commodities are going to be better. So let me add it. It's fine. Let me add it. This is a laptop. Laptop is added on the sales order. Go there, click on it. I will not go on and add the carry case. Carry case is shippable but not billable actually. So take off it. So go there, click on it. I will not put the carry case. Give it a tap. So carry case is shippable but not billable. Go to the placement. Five crore. So click on add. <coughs> carry case is shippable but not billable. And then afterwards, the extended warranty. The extended warranty is only billable but not shippable actually. ஒன்னு <laughs> and then in this place what i'm going to do is i will now add ship set number laptop my god so i'm now in the second tab region and then in the laptop what happens i drop down and then i will now edit the line now fine override the order line override the order line and go to the what happens the shipping now here ship set is coming fine go that drop down on the general itself what happens i drop down i will now create a ship set so click on create thank you congrats so go that yes as one so ship sets are order specific yes as one of order one can be ss ss1 of order 2 or different actually right? if you have two ship sets one is ss1 in order 1 and then ss1 same in order 2 they are different fine right? ship sets are order specific fine right? it is not across orders it is not across orders it is only for the same order only for the same right? click on okay so we are now create with a create what happens we are now create a ship set so click on okay now so click on okay this is on a ship set ship set go down i have now got the second line fine click on it I will not say what happens. Click on override order line. 
go there. I will not drop down. Previously, when the crate was coming, now it will not show you the existing ship that also. Previously, crate was only coming. Now, SS1, I will not add it to the ship. Frankly, I don't I will not put the external warranty also over there. I will not add it. So, the idea behind is what? When you ship it, you should ship laptop and carry case together, actually. The laptop and carry case must be shipped together, actually. You should not break the ship set. You should not break the ship set. Ship set should not be broken because what happens? It has to ship it together, actually. So, all the three things are belong to the SS1 ship set. Got it now, fine. Sharmini Rupunja, how to add the lines into a ship set? Even the warranty is added. So, if you don't add it, what will happen? The warranty will be interfaced to AR. Right? Before you ship it, what happens? The warranty will be interfaced to AR. Then what happens? The invoice for warranty will now go to the supplier, go to the customer. Customer will now see you pay for warranty, extended warranty. Every year, laptop itself has not come. How come you are asking for extended warranty? First of all, you have to give it to laptop and then afterwards only you have to give it. Okay? So, once when you add all the three items into the, into the ship set, what happens? Warranty will not be interfaced to AR at all. Warranty will not be interfaced till you ship it. Only when you ship it, it will be interfaced to AR. Got it now? Right? So by this way, what happens? You are now coming in. <coughs> Something on it. Oh God! Here we go. Okay, Kevin. So okay, we are now going to go for a what happens? A tea break now. Panand heroes that get now. Okay, fine. Yes. So the coffee is now complete. Now fine. So I have added all the three items in the ship set actually. So here, what happens? I go there and then I will not submit this order. I click on submit the order. So everything is completed. I click on submit order. So we are submitting the order. So it will be getting interface to shipping execution actually. Now, what I'm going to do is don't break the ship set. I'm going to give a warning. So 97427 is the one. I'm going to go that one. 97427 is the one. Now, what I'm going to do is I will not go there. So let me go to what? Manage shipping parameters. Manage percentage point. Ship the percentage point. Parameter percentage. So go to the manage shipping parameters. I'm going to go there. I'm going to so go to the manage shipping parameters. Here, I will now query the shipping parameter of 001 or the shipping parameter is already there. I will now say what happens in this place. <coughs> uh, ship set behavior. I will now say what happens error. So if you are trying to break the ship set by what happens, the shipping only the laptop or only the lap ca like carry case, it will no error. Out. It will not allow it because all of them are belonging to one ship set. Now. Thank you. There is no error. Out. There is no error. Out. So we can even give a warning now, fine. Warning now, die. You are not trying to break the ship set. It will not warn you, but it will allow you. Information na, you do, you do ship set like this, you do not ship it. You know, want to ship it, but it is in a ship set. Okay, it will allow. But it will not inform you that you are, it was in a, another ship set. There's a particular laptop is on a ship set, but the ship set is not fulfilled at all. Ship set has got what? Two shippable items and then one billable item. So, but both the shippable items only will be interfaced to what happens shipping execution, not the billable item. So, is what, so I know making the error now. If you try to break it, it will not say cheapo, it will not say. Try click on seven points in order. So, go there, click on it. You will not go to the place and then we will not query this order. Fine, click on cancel. Fine, by this time, it would have got interface to shipping execution. Now, fine, go there, on cancel. Now. I will not query this item. <coughs> so, click on it. I will not query this item. So, go to this place, fine, click on it. I will go to the shipments and then go to the manage shipment lines. Nine seven number and the number. So, so number so late. Number so late. Yeah, I'm not going to go there. Nine seven four two seven. Nine seven four two seven is the one. Fine, go there. I will not make it as before. No, fine, click on before and then make a search. No, fine, click on search. It will not show you two lines and not three lines because the third line is not a shippable item. Only first two items are shippable. So, it will not show you both. No. So what I will, I will now create a shipment now only for the first line. Fine, select it. I will now auto create a shipment. So I am now creating a shipment only for the first line. So I will not try to what? Ship it only the first line. Will it allow or not? Tell me. Will it allow me to ship the laptop within a carry case or not? Allow one mom. But now, you know, me ship set. So we are not trying to break the ship set. Fine. Without a carry case, we are not trying to sell, uh, sell the ship top. Fine. If you try to go on the pick release, it will not throw an error. Fine. Click on it. It will not go there. It will not read a pick release. Fine. Click on it. it will not pick it. So maybe picking it will allow, shipping it will not allow. Go to the actions and go to release. Uh, pick release. No. Fine. Click on pick release. Picking it may allow. No. Go there. Click on it. Picking it may allow, but shipping it may not allow, I think. So go there. Click on save and close. <clears throat> 
So picking it will allow. If it's a ship set, what happens? It will not allow you to pick actually. It's not staged actually. Let us not try to ship it. Now, fine. It is ready for release. Fine. Let us not try to ship it. Now, fine. Click on it. I will not click on the ship part and then try to ship it. So click on it. There's no staged actually. Fine. Go there. So click on ship confirmation. It has to throw an error now. Not a warning actually. Fine. It is an error. It does not end up in error actually. Fine. It is not a warning actually. The ship confirm request to fail because there are errors on the shipment selected for the ship confirmation. You cannot confirm the shipment because one or more shipment set, ship sets on the shipment line are incomplete actually. They are not fulfilled actually. So the weight and volume is okay. I know that. But you have not defined the weight and volume. It's okay, fine. So these two errors are okay. These two are warning only, fine. but this has no ended up in error actually. Got it now, fine. So this has ended up in error because of which Sharmi is a Yes, sir. So I'm second line, you know, the set number of cancel. So let me state the second line also. Go there, click on it. I will not go to the place. I will not add to shipment line. Now. Fine. 71196 is the one. Select it and then add to shipment. Fine. Click on add to shipment. 71196 will not go there. So I will not go over. 71196 is the one. <clears throat> so click on search. I will not search for it. I will not add it. I am going to add to the shipment line. So add, add lines. Fine. Click on add. I am now adding it. So both of them belongs to the same one. So let me launch the pick release also first. No added. So click on it. I will not click on the item number and then I will not do the what happens the pick release. No, I click on it. I will not go to the item item number and then do the pick release. No. Carry case, I'm going to pick it. No, click on it. So it's the one now. I go to the item number. I click on carry case. So good actions. I'm going to pick release. Now this will be pick release. No, I click on it. The concurrent is launched. Finally. For picking, there is no problem at all. But for shipping, it has to match because we are now given on the shipping parameter. This is the error action. Right. Ship set behavior is what error? No. The ship set behavior is error. So this is coming from no stage. Now both of them belong to the same ship set. So if you click on it, what happens? Both the lines will be shipped together actually, right? because they belong to the same shipment. No. I will not click on it. I will not ship it. <coughs> if manage orders located, what happens if you go there? You cannot see the third line would not have got started at all. If you go to the actions and then here, what happens if you go to the switch to fill from you, you can now see the third line is not started at all. On this <coughs> go to the place and go there. So, here, what happens? You can now see that there are three lines now. Fine, go there. Come on, now see what happens. It is not awaiting shipping, awaiting me. It is not started actually. So, only when you ship these two products, this will not start and then it will not get interfaced here because warranty cannot be built without the items being shipped. Actually. Since all of them belong to one ship set, what happens? There? Warranty will not become because warranty is only billable and not shippable. Actually, it is only billable and not shippable. So this is what is So click on it. It will not go to the manage shipments. And then here, I will not go to what? Ship confirm. This time, it will not be error. It will be a warning. The warning will be for what? Weight and volume, actually. The weight and volume, weight and volume is coming fine. It's okay. That is required only for your release management, actually, and transportation management. Transportation management and release management will be expecting you to fill up the weight and volume on the item itself. And click on it. So I'm not going. So it gets over there. So now the SSA will run now. If you go to the place, fine, go that one. I will not have a look at the SSA. I will not go to the place. I will not go to the monitor process. So click on it. I will not go to the monitor process. So go to the monitor process and then look at the SSA. So once when SSA gets completed, the shipping execution will be getting interface to order entry. Now. It will not reduce the inventory as well as it will not decrement. The, it will not re remove the reservation then decrement the inventory. SSA is responsible for it. So once when it is done, what happens? The line will not go to ship actually. So you click on refresh now. So once it is shipped, then the second activity of what billing will not start. It is not shipped. Now it's not started. It will not begin. On the warranty, what happens? It will not begin. Warranty, the warranty actually, it will not begin. Click on refresh now. Then all the three lines will be interfaced to AR actually. Click on refresh now. All three lines will be interfaced to AR. So click on refresh. You see, you know, not started. It's still coming now. So click on refresh. No, it will not begin. <laughs> It has to begin. Okay? Let me, what happens is stop the record for some time. No? So, so one, when these two things go to awaiting billing, this also this is also going to awaiting billing. See, this is also going to awaiting So this is not getting interface to AR at all. Why? The carry case is not getting interface to AR. Why? It is a free item. So this item is a free item. And so what happens? It is not getting interface to AR at all. So this is a laptop is only billable. This is a free item. It is only shippable. It is shipped and then what happens? No, no. So awaiting billing. Now, all the three, first and third line are now interfaced to AR. 
the first and third lines are interfaced to AI. Got it? Okay. So, you know, so along with the first line, the third line, it was initially not started and then now it has gone to very quickly. Now, if we import this sales order into AR, what will be the line status? What will be the first status and then what will be the next status? There will be two statuses now. Right? What will be the first status and then what is the next status now? So, you know, Sharmili. ஒரே <laughs> <laughs> லைன்ஸ் க்ளோஸ் ஆயிடுச்சுனா ஹெட்டரும் க்ளோஸ் ஆயிரும் இல்ல நம்ம ஏதா பண்ணா தான் க்ளோஸ் ஆகும் என்ன பண்ணோம் என்ன பண்ண ஒரு 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 இஎஸ்எஸ் ஜாப் அடிக்கணும் only when you run the ess job the header will get closed ah uh, run update sales header uh, exactly update close sales order னு ஒரு ess job இருக்கு so once when you run it the header gets closed புரியுதா ஆ பாய் எல்லாம் எல்லாம் புரியுதானே நீங்க எல்லாம் செஞ்சு பாக்கணும் செஞ்சு பார்த்தா அதெல்லாம் தெரியும் Puri that fine, it's honest. Fine. So these portions are all lab exercise for you. Fine. Uh, running the import order invoice, and then afterwards it will be built, and then finally it will be closed, and then close the header also. So we are now completing the ship set action. We are now completing the ship set. Go to the place where you want it. So ship set is now complete. So dual unit submitters, it will not, we are not showing you also. Fine. The dual unit submitters are not showing you this. this is a, actually, in each it is not showing you the proper one, but on the dozen it is not showing you always incorrectly. Actually. Anna, so many a times what happens in the dual submission is what the primary will be in one class like a weight class and then the secondary will be in the length class so primary and secondary will now belong to different classes of na ipa rendu me ore class la potirken adu and the example irukke right anna many a times what happens is the primary and secondary will be on different classes basically so modala uim noda record a paarenga adu romba complicated a irukum adala padichu mudichadukku apra idha varum so idu ellame mudichach fine so next is we go for order approvals sometimes what happens if a customer asks for material when somebody has to approve it because the customer may not be a reliable man he will not take the item and then he will not run away so let us not get an approval from somebody now that is what us so we are going to configure approvals now right? so the next step is what configuring the approvals for this one so some companies will now say you have to get it approved so let us now configure the approvals right? you will go to the configure right? click on it you will go to the manage order approvals so go to the setup and maintenance and then we are now going to configure the approvals எப்ப உங்களுக்கு selling it and then the ARS to collect the payment from the customers. If the customer is going to run away, it will be very difficult actually. So get it approved. And the approval authority is going to be very hard. He will be knowing every customer in the field actually. And then we will ask him to go. So click on create new rule. Then click on create new rule. We are going to get a new rule. And then all the six methods of approval on the purchasing, everything is applicable. Fine. So Sharmili, you can say that there are six methods of approval. How many methods of approval are there in purchasing? Fine. Everything is applicable here also. One is automatic approval. The simple one I told you. You can tell me about your customers. I'm going to tell you about your customers. Tell me, tell me. You can tell me about your customers. I'm going to tell you 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 about your customers. I will now say T02 point approval. I will now make a new one. T02 approval. Thank you. Okay. so go there if condition is fine click on the new condition thank you so go there uh, i will not say order amount i will not say order amount order amount uh, order amount fine go there order amount na illa illa a m o u n t amount ipdi dhaan eduthana po idu romba kashtam order total amount this is the order total amount if the total amount is going to be more than i will not say more than let us say 100 dollars then we need an approval right if order total there are so many such attributes are there we have to only find from a l and adich adich onna kanupikanum idu apdi straight a kanupikam mudiyadhu a adinga b adinga adha enna la varudho ellathiyum list pannunga b right okay 
had to list down all the conditions for the approvals actually. So I won't go there. It is hundred dollars. So click on okay now. <clears throat> so if order total amount is greater than hundred dollars, get it approved by SCM toll. No, I mean SCM eleven actually. I click on okay. Got it now fine. So if the order total is going to be more than hundred dollars, fine, more than hundred dollars, then fine, click on it. I will not click on that. I will not click on the do. Now. Do fine. Go that click on it. So there are six methods of approval. One is what automatic approval. One is what individual worker. The third is what approval groups. The fourth is job level approvals. Fifth is position level approvals. And then this is what supervisor level approvals. All the six methods of approval is all applicable. Fine. Right? So individual and then everything. All the six methods are applicable. Click on it. You can choose everything. Whatever you want. Fine. Click on it. I will not say what is the perform an action. Fine. Click on the perform an action. Do action and performing an action. Fine. Select an action. Fine. Drop it down. I will not say what happens. Auto approval is there. Fine. Assign the group, fine. And then job level, position level, supervisor level, everything is available. Purida, individual worker, and then what happens? You have got approval groups, and then auto approve, and then job level, position level, supervisor level, everything is available. All the six methods of approval are available here. Sharmini Purida. Yes, sir. Now, if individual put right, assign the individual. I think on assign the individual. I will not say what happens. I will not go there. It is the approval required now. Thank you for it. Either of the assigned to or you put drop on a specific worker border. <coughs> if a SCM told uh, told what is the name of the SCM told now? Fine, specific worker name. It is SCM told dot student now username. So what is the employee name now? Employee name is always last name, comma, space, first name. That's why you have to do it. Student, comma, space, fine, SCM told. Specific worker, fine. It is a student. Yes, magnifier. So click on the magnifier. So click on the magnifier. So go there. First name is SCM12. Last name is student. First name is search. First name is search. No coming. So now when I hear the both employee, the both last name, comma, space, first name, no, 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 Fine. Whenever you are writing employee name, it is last name, comma, space, first name. Fine. Otherwise, you have to do it appropriately. Fine. So like, fine. SEM toll is the one. Fine. Click on OK. It will not go to SEM toll. Now. So click on it. So my rule is set. If the total order amount is more than $100, it has to get approved. Fine. Click on OK. The rule is set. Clear? If the order total is more than $100, what happens? We can assign it to someone. So we can even have complex rules now. Fine. If then else, it will not be a complex <coughs> I know made a simple rule. So click on seven close. My T02 approval is written. Right click on seven close. My T02 approval is now created. So go there, click on it. So T02, we have to enable it. Now. Is a green tick mark or not? Click on it. I will not go there, click on it. I will not say give us what happens. Activate the rule. So go there, give us start date also. Otherwise, seven close. Click on activate rule. So no effective date is required. So either not the desert, somebody has written what more than 10,000. Thank you. I will not deactivate the rule. Deactivate the rule. When this rule is deactivated, only my rule is the effective rule. <coughs> I will not publish it. So click on publish. Thank you for publish. And then I go there and then I will not set up the password for SEM tool now. So the, the rule is published successfully. I will not go there. Right click on the I will not duplicate it and duplicate tab. So click on duplicate tab. So here, what I'm going to do is I will not. What happens? I set up the rule. I will not go to what happens. I will not click on the home icon. Home icon located tools located. I will not go to the security console. I will not go to the tools and then I go to the security console. And then I will not set up what the password for the ACM tool. Let me reset the password so that what happens? It will be going to him for approval. Password for it. I go to the users. No, I click on the users. <laughs> so here it is the ACM tool. And ACM tool. And then entering. You're going to enter. So click on the hyperlink of it. No, click on the hyperlink of it. SCM to the one. Click on the hyperlink of it. You go there. So I will not reason the password. Click okay, on that password. You go to it manually. I'll not go it. <coughs> w caps. <coughs> so click on reset password. So click on demo. Now let me create a new order. If a Sharmini Nina Solra. Now, if you order create panna pora, if the approval go poh humo poh adan nida solo pora. Okay, sir. Uh. So click on create order. Fine. You tell me whether the order will not, it will not go for approval or no. Here's one. 
So here I'm saying what computer C O M Kotak. Go there. I will not put what one T one zero one. I go there. I will not go for ninety nine quantities. If you put an ad, put na kya? This when the approval go po huma po hada. Will go for approval or not? Our muri kira. Po hada. Po hada. Yeah. Hundred then. Our limit put to go more than. Hundred then limit put to go more than. Very correct. Nanja Urkari is very correct. So since we are given, if the order total is hundred, then you get it approved by somebody, because this customer may not be very reliable actually. Right? For some higher amounts, what happens? The management has to approve before you process the sales order. Right? So we are given hundred, and so it will not go there at all. I will not go for one not one. I will not go for one not one. Click on it. And the one one not one, the one and the one is not. I will not go to the warehouse. And then when I submit for approval, think it will not go for approval. If I click on supply, I will not supply. Supply is what zero zero one, and then give it up. So we are giving supply. So warehouse is no given. So go there. If you submit it, it will not go for approval. Have you learned log order login because you have not published recently? And sometimes what happens when you log order login only? What happens? The changes will not take effort. So click on submit. Now what happens? It will not show that it will be. It has gone for approval. Now submit it. Click on it. You see. Now <clears throat> it will not be going to processing. Now fine. So click on refresh. Now fine. It will not go for approval actually. In the process in a pitch, so that means what? It has not sensed the change which you have made. No, it has not sensed the change. So it is not processed. And go to the actions and go to button. You go to actions and then go to what? View switch to fulfill new. Fine. It has not progressed on the workflow. So click on refresh. No, and go there. Uh, buy one get one free is also enabled. No, otherwise no coming. Go there. What? No coming. So you know, go to this. No, and click on it. <coughs> You can also see it is not scheduled and the result is also going on. So now end up what? Log out and log in. Right? So whenever you make some major changes, you have to log out and log in for the changes to take effect. I will not log out and log in. I will not log out and log in. So sign out and sign in. Close it. Close everything. Open. So click on confirm and then let us go sign in. So we are going to sign in. Is a SCM eleven dot student. Oh, that you went. So it is a CM eleven dot student. CM eleven dot student. <coughs> so the password is from this place. No, go to my this thing now. So this is the password. I will now paste this password and click on submit. A CM eleven dot student. We are now logging in. Is it automatically saved? Am I getting another one? Passwords are not getting saved actually. Go to this place, my brother. So click on the home icon, and then go there. And go to the manage orders, and then let us now create an order. Manage orders, and then I'm going to create an order. Manage. Huh? Oh, manage under there. Manage under there. Thank you. I'm going to give a save. I'm going to save. Now the Kuruka is going to save. I'm going to save under there. So click on create. I have now created the order. It came. Now. Here's one. This computer. <coughs> computer and other servers. This time I'll not put some other item. I will not put some other item. Yellow item of wood on there. I will not put up as a substitute item. You substitute or come on you know, the better show. I will not put it there. I will not put the place thing. Paste it and then give it up. I will not go for one not one quantities. So the total of a line total is what? 101. So it's more than this. One not one. So click on add. I will not go to this place. I will not go to the place. I will not go to the supply. And then I will not do the supply. Zero, zero, one. Is here. So click on submit by which what happens if we are not submitting it. So we are not submitting it. <laughs> so if the one day it has to go to what? It has to go to approval. And click on refresh now. Oh God, I made a mistake. I found it now. We are not enabled the approvals in the, what happens in your order management parameters. Actually, I made a mistake. Actually, so right click on the duplicate. I have to enable the approval on the order management parameters. Actually, then only it will go there properly. That is the mistake. One I have to go to the setup and maintenance, and then I have to enable the approval actually in the order management parameters. I enable. So go to the place. Thank you. 
I will not go to the search now. Okay, click on search. So click on search. I will not say manage percentage, find order percentage, find parameter percentage. So in order management parameters, we had to enable the approvals. Okay. Well, no, enable the what happens approvals. You have to query panna, approvals to query panna. APP in put enter panna. APP in put asna. Idu varle apa. Idu na idu. No percentage APP percentage in put query panna. You know what I mean. Start approval process. When for all the order systems, what happens is no. I will not enable it as yes. Start approval process. We are doing it Fine. on the order management parameters. What happens in the general? What happens? We are doing it. Start approval process for the sales orders. So it is not enabled. Yes, no. So click on sales orders. Now you open another. If that is not happened, log out, log in. Sometimes log out, log in is very important. Now I will not make a new order. This time I will not make a new order. Drop it down. I will not make a new order. It is a computer index. Fine. Computer service index. So go to place computer service and then so click on it. I will not paste this item over here. Now click on it. Now paste this item. I will go one not one quantities. One not one quantities. Then click on add. And then go to this place and then go there. I will not go to the supply and click on the supply. And then here is what zero zero one of the one. So click on submit. What happens? It will be getting enabled. It will be coming up. So go there. If a pata ke or will not get what happens. It now gone for approval actually. Or buttoning on the go. And click on refresh now. Refresh on that. Can I go approval? Go on. Oh God! But I think is again need a restart actually. The current one pani ko la. La order management parameters la approval on pani ko la. Fine. Percentage, APP percentage, then enter now. Source order system is all on the S now. Right? Now, what? Yeah, approval the polar thing. Just look for approval actually. What is it? Here, what? Locked in which thing? Locked in the light. It means what? It is locked actually. If I lock in the light, the approval will be taken. Here, what? 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 It is actually locked. It has to show me here itself now that it has gone for approval. Actually, it has gone for approval. It is locked on the chip. Right? It is not locked. So, you put actions. You put and view additional information. We are unable to switch to full view at all. In here, what is it? In there, what is it? In there, what is it? Approval. What is it? In there, what is it? It is not waiting for approval. Now, view approval information. So we have got it fine. So view approval information is one fine. Click on it. It will not say to what to whom it has gone. Thirteen or fourteen? S C M thirteen or S C M fourteen? Go ahead. Click on it. Who has gone? Fine. Click on view approval information. We have gone to what? Shall we tell you about it? S C M thirteen? Go ahead. Go ahead. Or S C M fourteen? Go ahead. Go ahead. S C M twelve, sir. S C M twelve. Nalla karatta paathirga hai fine. Some clear up on it. Fine. Excellent. Fine. S C M twelve. Go ahead. Go ahead. It has not gone to order approval. Abhi thala set up on it. Go ahead. Fine. Go ahead. We will not go to the place and then we will not what happens, approve it. No, thank you. It has not gone to approval. No, thank you. It has not gone to approval. SCM tool. No. So take a copy of it. I will not what happens, open up and then do it. No. <clears throat> open up the another one. Thank you. That one. Paste it. Then enter. No. It has not gone to this. No, thank you. The, the order is also locked actually. So SCM tool will be getting a message. I will not put SCM tool. SCM tool. Put it. So click on sign in. Ah. I will say SCM tool. <clears throat> Let me take. Welcome one two three. And I'm going to go there. So click on sign in. We're signing in. So we are signing in. And then what happens? It does not want to him for approval action. <clears throat> so this is the order approval. So on the notification bell icon, you'll be getting a notification. Now, click on the bell icon. So bell icon will go. It will show you that promise. action required for approval request nine seven four three zero. If you click on it, what happens? It will approve it. So once when it is approved, then it will now go ahead on the processing actually. Approval request is there, fine. You can even approve. You can even do all the actions whatever you have seen on the on the purchasing. Right? Everything can be done. So click on approve. You know, going to go and then do the approval. So the approval is now done now. So once when the approval is done. What happens? You can go there and then notify them. Right? In this place, when they go there, you know, go to this place. Then click on done and then come out of it. No, 
and then of course I, what happens if you keep on refresh now fine now it will now go to processing now fine there is no locked the record is locked so once when the upload is completed it will now go to the processing status in which what happens you can even switch to full on view so click on refresh now so it is not done it is now going to the processing you know go to the processing and then go to actions and then we can now switch to full on view and i can see so let me remove the approval so fine click on it i will now remove the approval. On the order management parameters and no reviewing the approval. So some companies will be asking for approval actually by some competent authorities. You may even have a hierarchical approval also. Because sales means what? We have to collect the payment from the customers. If the customer is not a reliable one, then what happens? It will be difficult. Now you have, now you have given a condition is what? When order total is more than a certain amount, then you go sell for approval. Otherwise, you do it. Likewise, you can have so many conditional attributes. And the approval conditions are not being a condition. What is it? So go that you want to open. So no, and then it will not give a seven close. Now approval will not go at all. So go that click on the fresh open. So I'll go to this place and click on it. So click on the hyperlink of it now and click on it. So click on the hyperlink and go there. There's no schedule and then there's no schedule. So this completes approval. Prida, Charmli. Yes, sir. Prida, fine. Next topic is what? Credit check. And some customers will not be credit worthy beyond a certain amount actually. Let us say, you are a customer. If I am selling you $100 worth of items, you may pay. If I am selling you $10,000 worth of items, you may even run away. So the credit worthiness of customers are also in the community picture. In which case, what happens, I will not ask you in advance. If you are going to order for 10,000 quantities, I will not say, give me $6,000 advance. Because our manufacturing cost, our X works cost is 4,000. So I will not ask for the customer 6,000. So if you're giving it, then I will not ship it to you. Even if you run away, we are not in loss actually. Purida, concept Purida. This is what's called credit worthiness of every customer actually. So every customer will be having a credit worthiness based upon which what happens. We will be basically stopping what happens, the progression of the order actually. In the concept Purida, Sharmali, any doubt on this concept? I will again repeat now. Certain customers, if you're going to sell him only for $100 worth of items, he will pay. But if the customer is asking for $10,000 worth of items, he may not pay at all. He may even go away, run away. So in such cases, I will not give a limit <coughs> that if the order total is going to be more than 7,000, what happens? You wait for the AR to give a clearance action. AR is the people who are going to collect the payment action. So they will not ask the customer to give an advance of so $6,000. Let us say our manufacturing Xbox cost is 4,000 and then we are adding our profit and then we are setting it up 10,000. So AR guy will now ask for an advance of 6,000, which will not even a vote out So So the credit check worth in it will now stop the progression. And then once when the AR man has taken an advance, fine, and then he will now manually release the hold actually. The hold, it's called a credit check hold. Yeah, system will now apply a credit check hold on the customer, and then based upon the hold, it will not progress at all. And then once when the AR man says it's okay, then he will now release the hold actually. So booking will be done by the CSR, the customer service representative. Releasing of the hold will be done by the AR. AR man. Purida. Sharmli, Purida, the concept. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. So if in the concept, if you have a problem, you have a mental exhaustion level. Sharmli, you have a problem. <laughs> so we will now see the credit check hold on the customers tomorrow. But have you understood the concept? So this is what I want. So if it goes beyond a threshold, what happens? The system will now apply automatically a credit check hold on the customer. Actually. So we will now continue on the credit check hold tomorrow. Bye for now. நாளைக்குறியா <laughs> 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 Thursday. 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 
Sorry. Okay. Bye for now. And then we'll meet at 10 a.m. tomorrow. And then we'll continue on the credit check hold on the customer. Bye for now. Bye, sir.